आफ्टर द वेडिंग सेरेमनी वैन फेल्ट एन ओवर वेलमिंग सेंस ऑफ जज एंड फ्योर एस इज टू बर थी साइड ही इज कीप ऑन हर हैंड वॉज प्रोसेसिव मैंटिंग हर दैट ही वॉज नो लोंगर हर आउन पर्सन शी वॉज ही इज बाउंड टू हिम बाय अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट शी नेवर वॉन्ट इट बट द वोस पास वोस पार वॉज यट टू कम द फर्स्ट नाइट द नाइट डैट सी लिव फेट एज हजबेंड एंड वाइफ As the ceremony ended, he wrapped his arm around her waist and led her towards the grand staircase of his mansion. Once her bound in her chest, her step shaky as they climbed the stairs to the master bedroom. The tension in the air was suffocating her body, trembling with the uncertainty of what was to come. They reached the door of the room. They pushed it open and Wiles bathed his ass in step inside. The room was decorated with rose petals, the scent of jasmine hanging in the air, a large, luxurious bed set in the middle drawn with silk sheets. The ambience was romantic, yet one felt nothing but fear. The young Wiles was very shaky as he stood near the bed, her hand closed, clasped tightly in front of her. Please, please don't do this. Can't you sleep in another room? I don't want to sleep with you tonight. Then turned to her, sir. He stared, eyes looking into hers. There was a flicker of something dangerous in his gaze, but he smiled, taking slow, deliberate step to her, sir. Wine is as soft as was deep and commanding. You are my wife now. There is no running from this from me. He reached out his finger, brushing against her cheek, and Wine flinched at the contact. I will sleep in the same bed as my wife from now on. This is our room, our bed. Understand? Wine started to her heart racing as she backed away from him, her legs hitting the edge of the bed. But the young guy was scared. I don't want. Think Silence said, placing a finger over her lips as he leaned to the his bed, faint over her face, sending a shiver down her spine. There is no need to be scared, Princess. I promise I will take good care of you. You belong to me now, and I always take care of what's mine. His voice sent a chill through her. Um, and they, yet there was something in his voice that they made her half flutter with confusion. He was not angry any more. He was not the same man who had threatened her during the wedding. Now he was softer, more dangerous in a different way. His charm was magnetic, and Van hated how it made her feel. The young please, he whispered her voice, trembling as she tried to reason with him. Then he tickled softly his finger, tracing the line of her jaw before tilting her chin up to meet his eyes. You don't have to beg, Van. I'm your husband. This is our wedding night. Do you know what happens on a wedding night? Van's breath caught in her throat as the young's voice sang in. She shook her head, trying to pull away from him, but he was faster in one swift motion. Then he grabbed her waist and pulled her against him. He slips, catching hers in a searing kiss. Our me, please support my second channel, Effie Kashif. <laughs> Van's eyes were turned in shock as the young kissed her with an intensity that took her breath away. He slips, moves against hers with a possessive touch. She is hand gripping her as he pushed her down onto the bed. Van grasped her hand, pressing against his dash, trying to push him away. Ting, stop! I don't want this," she cried, her voice breaking with fear. But Ting was not listening. He hovered above her, his eyes dry with desire as he pinned her. "Dash, you may not want, you may not want this now, but you will soon, princess," he whispered, his voice thick. With lust, he stole down her, dash, leaving a trail of four dash on her skin as his hands roamed over her. Vines would it answer my screaming at her to fire back, but her sudden was not match for the young sea's dash was rough and dull, uh, and despite her dash, there was a flicker of something else, a strange heat building inside her. The young please, she whimpered, her hands twisting, the sheets beneath her, the young slave moved, dash, passing against the exposed of her dash, <laughs> his dash definitely began to. Um, and the one's breath hissed as he slowly peeled the fabric away, revealing more of fur to his gaze. You are so beautiful, Van Ting murmured, his eyes dinging in the sight of her dashed skin. I have wanted you for so long, Van Sat pounded in her, her dash trembling beneath him. She wanted to push him away, to scream, to fight. But something in his dash was backing to change it. His dash, his hands, they inting it in a fur. 
in her that the, she did not understand the more he touched her the more she found herself responding to him her fear slowly melting into something else the young one whispered her voice barely audible as her dash buttered her edging into his Then slips curl into a satisfied smirk as he noticed her chin. See, I told you, princess, you will enjoy this. He sent tail down her. He is dash sending shivers to her as he continued to dash her. Van Bader left her mind a whirlwind well of emotions. She wanted to hate him, to push him away, but the way he was dash her, it was intoxicating. She had never felt anything like this before. The heat, the desire, the need that was slowly consuming her. It was overwhelming. Tinsley found hers again, and this time Van did not resist her hand. Slowly moved up to his dash, pulling him closer as she dashed him back. Her body sending to the feelings that were building inside her. Things and explored her. He stood both gentle and possessive as he claimed her as his own. The nice attached on the room filled with the sound of their heavy dash and soft whispers. Thing was relentless. She stood in ting ting. Every part of her, as he met her, his wine had never imagined she would give in to him. But now, as they just moved together, she found herself wanting more wine. They him whispered against her skin, his voice thick. We desire you are mine, only mine. Wine gasped, her dash taking into his shoulder. As the wave of pleasure washed over her, the young, she breathed, her body trembling beneath him. I, I don't know what's happening. Then suddenly, softly, he is laid brushing against her ear. This is what it feels like to be with me, princess, to be with the man who loves you. Fine, so skip the beat at his words. Love, could this really be love? The way he was dashed, the way he was holding her, it was possessive yet, but there was something else. There is something deeper. One could not understand it, but in that moment, she did not care. All she knew was that she did not want it to stop. The rest of the night passed in a blur of heat and passion. Their dash entwined as they gave in to the desire they had both tried to suppress. Thing was endless. His need to her in in such evil, but Van found herself responding to him in ways she never thought possible. The fear she had felt earlier had melted away, replacing by a dash that matched his. As they drew to a close, thing finally collapsed beside her, pulling her into his arm. As they lay together in the after dash of their passion, vines are was still racing her, dash tingling with the after <clears throat> of their night together. She had never imagined that her first night with Tim would be like this, but now, as he lay in his arms, she could not deny the way he had made her feel. Tim pressed a soft kiss to her forehead. His voice, a low whisper in the quiet room, "You are mine now, mine forever." Van closed her eyes, her body exhausted, but her mind still spinning. She did not know what the future held for them, but in that moment, as she lay in Tim's arms, she could not bring herself to care at all. The matter was that she was his, and he was hers. to be continued